Assalamualaikum and very good morning uh, My name is Muhammad Ismail Faizul bin Muhammad Ismail I will present uh, my research paper Title is an RSSI based wireless sensor node localization using trilateration and multilateration method for outdoor environment Okay, first introduction is uh, localization, localization, localized and position. So the localization and position, we using uh, have two different uh, method, which is uh, using no GPS method and GPS method. For the GPS method, we can direct coordinate the transmitter node uh, on the field we, because the transmitter node have a GPS receiver for the no GPS method they have a, a they using algorithm for coordinate uh, to get the uh, position or localized coordinate of the transmitter method uh, for increase the efficiency so the system must be used more than one receiver node which is the best uh, the minimum receiver node is three uh, receiver node and the localized position node can estimate or finding the position node using these two different method. Okay, next, uh, localization method have two different uh, technique, so which is not self localization and target localization. For the target localization, they have two different technique which a single target and multiple target for the not self localization technique they have two different techniques which is uh, range free and range based for this research we focus on the range based uh, method which uh, they have the RSSI method which is receiving signal uh, index and then time different of arrival and next is time of arrival and angle of arrival so why we use RSSI method because there is the very uh, simple technique so when we use RSSI method we, we just depend on the wireless module which is we can collect the RSSI data from the receiver node And the contribution of this paper is a development of the wireless sensor node prototype for localized experimenter for outdoor without GPS receiver. And then uh, second is performance analysis and comparison for the for different type of the trilateration and multilateration method for TX node localization using RSSI data from the RX node. Okay, there is the system and architecture. So we have two different nodes which are transmitter node and the receiver node. For the transmitter node, they have uh, four components which are LoRa module as a wireless communication module uh, microcontroller unit as a processor and uh, GPS uh, receiver as a coordinate of the uh, transmitter and real time clock RTC which is as a data uh, time time data for the transmitter node and the receiver node side we have five different nodes which are 
DORA communication as a wireless communication node uh, microcontroller as a processor GPS receiver as a coordinate of the receiver node uh, RTC real time clock as a time uh, receiver node and the SD card SD card, the function of the SD, uh, SD card in this circuit is to store all the information uh, receiver uh, node receive from the transmitter node and the uh, data of the receiver node itself uh, for example gps and the time data from the receiver okay uh, actually my project is my research is not use the gps uh, coordinate as a main uh, my research is using no gps uh, method so in the circuit, we just put the receiver coordinate as a guideline to get the uh, to calculate the efficiency of the uh, uh, transmitter node, uh, a localization of the transmitter node. Okay, next, this is the hardware development. So I'm using. Uh, the white color board is the uh, Wi-Fi LoRa 32, which is uh, this board uh, have uh, LoRa module as a medium of the wireless transmitter, which is using a frequency of uh, 868 uh, megahertz, and then we have GPS receiver. Uh, SD card for the receiver node and the RTC real time clock. So we compare this uh, two between a bit, uh, time between the GPS and the RTC. So RTC time based on the GPS time for the as a guideline. Okay, there is experiment setup. Actually, we set up this experiment. Uh, at the tennis court uh, at uh, UTMKL so we just plot the experiment setup by 10 meters multiplied by 10 meters so we divide the coordinate based on 1 meter coordinate so if you see the uh, in my slide so the position of the receiver node, we have four different position. This four four different uh, four receiver node we use in multi iteration, and three receiver node we uh, process we process for tri iteration. So the receiver node we uh, place at the coordinate based on the xy coordinate okay the result an analysis for the uh, for the transmitter and receiver so we measured uh, the uh, rssi of the receiver based on distance between transmitter and receiver so we get when the uh, distance is increased the RSSI will be decreased so there is the uh, there is the method of the wireless transmitter okay this result shows that the we plot the actual actual position compare with the estimate triliteration and the estimate multiliteration so estimate uh, triliteration and multiliteration we using uh, we using uh, algorithm to get the position Okay, there is the error rate, error rate 
uh, calculation uh, we compare between triliteration and the multiliteration for the triliteration uh, we plot using blue color and the uh, uh, multiliteration we using red color for the general error rate we can see in this uh, straight line uh, straight line straight line on the graph dot 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 on the graph uh, the blue color for the triliteration and the red color for the uh, multiliteration so from this result we get when we use the multiliteration method we can get error rate is lower than uh, triliteration method so if we multiply uh, more the receiver node we can get lower than lower than and we can get almost zero uh, error uh, general error rate okay for conclusion of this uh, research conclusion of this research uh, first is the RSSI value of the RX node is gradually decrease when the distance is increased and second is multilateration technique shows that act more accurate compared with trilateration method which is uh, 1.83 meters for the uh, multilateration and uh, for the trilateration method is 2.3 meters so in between we can get almost uh, 0 0.5 uh, meters uh, difference so next is further works the comparison between both techniques can be conducted in indoor which is we use the 868 uh, we can try this uh, wireless wireless module for the indoor uh, environment okay thank you